this session we are going to discuss about transfer of learning so this topic comes under teaching aptitude and if you go through the very recent exams uh, they are exploring this area so much so that we are getting questions very frequently so what do you mean by transfer of learning it's basically means how we transfer uh, a particular thing that we learned in a particular situation to uh, another situation or how we transfer the skills or the knowledge that we have learned to a very practical situation so it's like an application of what we have learned so that is what transfer of learning is all about so uh, i'll just uh, give you an example of a question that uh, was asked in uh, june 2024 from the area transfer of learning so that you will get an understanding how we can expect questions from this area so the question goes like this if a student gets a part-time job in an architect's office and applies what was learned in geometry class to help the architect analyze a spatial problem that is quite different from any problem the student encountered in geometry class is an example of dash learning so practically we can expect two different types of questions from transfer of learning one is very theoretical based questions that means they'll just give you some explanations and they'll uh, they'll ask us to identify what transfer of learning is mentioned in this definition that is one kind of question and the second kind of question is a bit more complicated wherein they'll just give you an example from which we need to identify what transfer of learning is mentioned in that particular scenario for that we need a very good understanding about the concept for if it's a theoretical or if a definition based question it's very easy for us to identify because when we learn about the different types of transfers we'll just focus on some keywords and all but when it comes to examples we need to have a very thorough idea about the concept because it's a very application level practical kind of a question right so for this kinds of questions we need to have a very proper or very good understanding about the different types of transfer so in this question they have provided you with four different options near transfer forward reaching transfer lower or transfer or far transfer so basically uh, if you consider the transfer of learning it's a very uh, detailed area in which we have a lot of types of transfer we have positive transfer negative transfer zero transfer proactive transfer retroactive transfer so on and so forth but in this session we are not going to all the types but we will be just focusing on the four different options that we have here in this question but if you consider after the academy's uh, classes paper one classes we are exploring all these types of transfer of learning and we are exploring a lot of previous year questions as well both in our offline and online classes so if you're interested to join our classes you can actually contact the number that is given below coming back to this question we are trying to look at these different options in detail so uh, if you consider these options uh, there is one option that is provided here that is forward reaching transfer so this forward reaching transfer is basically a subtype of hydro transfer so if you consider the different types of transfer of learning hydro transfer we have hydro transfer as well as lower transfer that is already provided in this option but this hydro transfer is not given but this forward reaching transfer is a subtype of hydro transfer so we'll be looking at hydro transfer its subtypes and lower transfer okay then we'll come to the other two options so what do you mean by hydro transfer hydro transfer occurs when the learner consciously and deliberately that means mindfully evaluates the new situation and applies previous learning to it so if we are consciously applying something we have learned into a new situation that is what hydro transfer is all about so uh, when you consider for example if you are learning a new language and if you are trying to speak in that particular language we are very conscious in selecting the words we will be very conscious in selecting the words how to structure the sentence so it, it actually requires a mindful conscious deliberate effort right so that is what hydro transfer is all about and if you consider the subtypes of hydro transfer we have forward reaching transfer as well as backward reaching transfer so in the options they have just given us forward reaching transfer but when we are learning something make sure that you are learning it properly in a very systematic way so under hydro transfer we have forward reaching transfer as well as backward reaching transfer so what do you mean by forward reaching transfer it involves learning something and consciously considering how it might be applied in other future situations essentially it's anticipating the need to use that knowledge later on so forward reaching transfer means when you're learning something you're consciously trying to apply that particular learning that you have right now to a future scenario so it is like anticipating the need of the use of this or the anticipating the need to use this particular knowledge for example if you are in a class wherein you are trained how to communicate so it's like a communicative uh, communication skills related 
uh, course that you are doing. So when you are considering communication, we will be exploring a lot of ideas, how to engage other people, how to actively uh, present in the communication process, how to uh, be empathetic while we are communicating. So if you are learning these ideas, you are thinking that okay, uh, in the future maybe you will be going to have maybe, uh, maybe you are trying to apply this to a work scenario or a scenario in which the workspace scenario wherein you will be anticipating okay when I am going to work somewhere I have a team of people there so I need to communicate to them so how I need to be empathetic or how I can communicate with people from different backgrounds so these kinds of a deliberate conscious considering of how this particular knowledge is or knowledge can be applied to a scenario that is that will be happening in the future so that is forward reaching transfer so in that case how we can uh, define backward reaching transfer applying what you have learned in a new situation by consciously recalling and applying prior knowledge or experiences i'll just go through it once more applying what you have learned in a new situation by consciously recalling and applying prior knowledge and experiences that means you are applying a new knowledge to a situation by consciously recalling something that you have learned in the past so for example if you are uh, learning a new computer programming language for example so you might be consciously thinking about how you have previously learned to code a particular language maybe it's a new language that you are learning right now but you might have learned some language previously or you know some language or you learned something previously and if when you are learning something new you are consciously trying to understand this new language based on the principles that you have learned previously so wherein you are actually trying to apply this newly learned thing to a situation by consciously applying or consciously recalling what you have learned in the past so that is backward reaching transfer so these two are subtypes of hydro transfer and the next type is loro transfer so in hydro transfer what we primarily focused was conscious or deliberate mindful application or mindful or deliberate consideration or mindful application of something that you have learned or a mindful conscious deliberate transfer of learning that is what hydro transfer is all about so that is the term that you need to focus on conscious deliberate mindful these are all key terms that you can identify there and coming to loro transfer it occurs when well established skills transfer spontaneously even automatically so here the key terms are spontaneous or automatic so the the skills or the things that you have learned in the past is transferred spontaneously or automatically that is what happens in low road transfer okay so let's say if you're considering your own mother tongue we are very fluent in speaking in our own mother tongue right so we are not consciously thinking about the words that we need to use or we are not bothered about the sentence structure grammatical structure it all comes in a flow right because you know it that much or there is no conscious effort of presenting or there is no conscious effort of using your language your mother tongue right or else if you are very fluent in some other language this applies there as well so that is what law of transfer is all about so here the transfer of skills or knowledge is spontaneous even automatic so these are the two types that we identify we can uh, consider it as a set where we can just uh, compare right so high road transfer and low road transfer high road transfer conscious mindful transfer Loro transfer is spontaneous automatic transfer. So the other two types that we can identify is near transfer and far transfer. So what is the difference between these two? So these two types of learning is based on the similarity of the situations. That means the degree of similarity between the original situation in which or the original learning context in which you have learned that skill and the later situation wherein you are applying that skill. So you have learned a particular skill in a context and you are applying that skill to a different context. So how similar these two situations are. So that is the basis of these two different types of transfers. So in near transfer this is completely or these two situations are really similar. So if we, you have learned something and you need to apply that skill to a very similar situation that is near transfer. So near transfers occurs when many elements overlap between the conditions in which the learner obtained the knowledge or skill and the new situation. So where the, the situation where you have learned and the situation in which you are applying both the situations have very much similarity. So that is what near transfer is all about. So there is a degree of similarity which is higher in near transfer. 
But in fast transfer, what happens? Fast transfer occurs when the new situation is very different from that in which learning occurs. So sometimes this the situation of the context in which you have learned something and the situation to which you are applying it will be completely different. So that kind of situation, so that kind of transfer can be called as fast transfer. I hope now these four different types are clear to you. So now we are moving to the question that we have already seen in the beginning. If a student gets a part-time job in an architect's office and applies what was learned in geometry class to help the architect analyze a spatial problem that is quite different from any problem the student encountered in geometry class. So what is the example here? A student is getting a part-time job and the student got the job in an architect's office and the student is actually trying to apply some principles that the student has learned in the geometry class in the architect's office in order to help the architect to analyze a spatial problem but specifically in the question they are saying that both of these situations are quite different so the student is applying the lessons he or she has learned in geometry class to help the architect analyze a spatial problem but that is quite different from any problem the student encountered in geometry class so the student has learned certain principles in the geometry class and the student is trying to apply those principles in an architect's office wherein they need to analyze a spatial problem. So the, the context in which the student has learned the skill and the context to which the student is trying to apply it is quite different. Okay. So this is an example of word learning. Just go through the options. We have near transfer, forward reaching transfer, lower road transfer, far transfer. So obviously the right answer is option D that is far transfer. So this is how we need to learn uh, this particular area. I already told you that we can expect two different kinds of questions, theoretical questions. That means basically it's not very complicated. They'll just give you a definition, uh, just give you a definition and they, they ask us to identify which type of transfer is like. For example, they'll just give you uh, if in a transfer conscious, mindful, delivery transfer of skills or knowledge is happening, what kind of transfer is that. So that's, a, that's an example of a theoretical definition based question and also they will give you questions like this wherein they just give an example and from which we need to identify what transfer of learning that is. So that is a bit more complicated because we need to decipher the meaning of the or we need to identify the meaning of that context or the example provided and we need to apply the different types of transfers to that question that context and then we need to answer right. So for that we need a bit more clear idea about the different types of transfer but make sure that you are you are having a very good idea about this topic okay because in the recent exams they are repeatedly asking questions from this area and also make sure that you are covering all the types we just go through four different types and maybe two subtypes of uh, hydro transfer that's it but it's not the end we have other types of transfers as well so as i have already mentioned all these types of transfers are very clearly covered in our online and offline classes for paper one so if you are planning to join for a course for paper one wherein you will get a very detailed understanding about the various concepts how to deal with the questions how to approach questions you can see this little thing about apple bay academy's paper one courses and if you need to get any information about our courses you can feel free to contact the number that is given below that's it for this session thank you